Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, I upload beauty, Bible, and lifestyle videos every week. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys. So first of all, if you're new here, I don't always look like this when I start out my videos. Um, this is where Instagram chose my makeup and we are actually getting ready to go to a holiday couples party a couples holiday party so it's couples only no kids allowed so I thought what more of a perfect time than to do my makeup so it's actually like 4 30 um, in the afternoon I'm gonna go ahead and put on this headband <laughs> Ooh -wee, that's hilarious all right so for the primer all right so I did clean my face and then I put some niacinamide um, oil, uh, serum on it just to help with the pores because the um, primer that you guys chose was the Giorgio Armani, Armani Luminous Silk Primer. I actually really really love this primer. It's super glowy and luminous just like it's called. And it does do some smoothing but not a ton so I usually do mix this with my primerizer. But that's why I put the niacinamide on that because it's good for minimizing your pores. And that's that, so yeah. All right. And then I do always have to go in with the primer water and the one I have right now is the NYX Bear With Me mixed with some rose water. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get into getting sitting down and doing my makeup again. Like it just, I don't know, like sometimes you just kind of, I had to, I have like stopped watching YouTube for a long time and I was only watching TikTok. So obviously what you're filling yourself up with is what you want to come out. So I was enjoying making TikToks more than I was making YouTube videos. But then I started watching YouTube videos again and now I'm enjoying the whole process of doing YouTube again. So I did not ask you guys to pick brows because I didn't have an abundance of brow products unpacked. So I'm going to go in with my Undone Beauty brow pen and my Wet n Wild brow pencil. And this will just be sped over because, yeah. So now that we have them filled in with the pencil, what we're going to do is go in with the pen and just get a couple of bald spots that tend to rub away. So. Okay, and that is it, you guys, for my brows. Give me just a second. All right, we have a babysitter coming for the boys and I... I'm going to have my phone by me just in case she messaged. I guess I can... Do I have a brush to clean up my brows with? I don't know if I do. We're going to use this brush because this is the only brush we have. And then the concealer that you guys chose is the NYX Bear With Me um, Concealer Serum. So we're going to try this out today. I have not tried it. I picked up the shade Beige. I don't know what number that is. It's just Beige. Is a name that's the color I picked up it's so nice to be able to go out with Brian tonight because ever since we um, you know we're buying a house and so we've just been working 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 trying to put as much money down as we can so I guess I'll just do one pump for now that's a lot lighter than what it looks in the packaging huh? I'm just gonna use this um, shader brush because I don't have anything else a little bit of that goes a long way y'all I haven't cleaned up my brows in so long there's a best dress contest tonight, and usually Brian and I always win best dressed, but I don't know because some people, it's like best dressed or like most festive. We're not very festive, but we can win a best dressed. We, Brian and I should have made a TikTok too. All right, so that's a ton. That has like a ton of coverage. Like right off the bat, like a little bit of that goes a long way. Like my brows look so different. Okay, and then the eyeshadow primer that you guys chose was the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and go in with that, prime our lids. And I don't think that anybody from my church has ever seen me like full glam. Um, it was requested that I do a glam look for a wedding. So Ruthie girl, I got you. We are going to do a soft glam type wedding look. And we're just gonna put on some e.l.f. eye tapes. I did not pack these just because they're so small. They don't take up very much space in my <clears throat> makeup bag anyway. And you guys chose the Lorac Pro um, Soleil palette. And so this is just what it looks like. So of course, I'm gonna go in and set the lid with, these sh with this shade right here in Warm Vanilla. We're just gonna use a big, wrong brush. We're just gonna use a big fluffy brush to set down those lid, those that my lids. I'm either wearing black or white and gray or gray and black. So I'm gonna do something that can go with either one of those. And the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here in Sand Dune. <clears throat> and we're just gonna go in with a bigger, fluffier crease brush and just start buffing that into our crease. This is going to be our transition shade. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a brush that's kind of shaped like this. So this is um, a really old Real Techn Techniques brush, but that is just what it looks like right there. So it's kind of like a paddle, but it's also kind of fluffy. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this shade right here in Ash Brown. One thing about Lorac eyeshadows is that they are pigmented. So you don't need very much. I'm taking the very tiniest amount on there. And look at that. Just gonna open my eye and then dig that brush right into my crease like that. No windshield wiper motion. We're just gonna start blending that out. And you can switch back and forth between your brushes. And I think those look about even. Yeah, I'm gonna blend this side with this brush one more time. Well, I never even did it in the first place. But going in with that original, that original shade, warm vanilla, and we're just gonna start blending that in. Just making sure there's no super harsh lines. And since I still have com some concealer on here, um, I'm gonna go in with that same brush, and we're just gonna cut the crease. Something else I haven't done in such a long time. Okay, so now it's just a matter of what shimmer shade I want to use. Um, I've used um, um, I'm gonna try that one. I'm taking that same exact brush. And this shade is called Soft Pearl. So we're gonna use that one. Just to get a little bit of a better blend in this area, I'm going to go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with Euphoria. Wow, I'm drilling everywhere, Euphoria. And we're just gonna put a tiny bit of that right there at that, that place where the darker color and the light color meet. Then the mascara, which I'm really surprised. I thought more people would've wanted to see the Makeup Revolution one on camera. That one is so flippin' pretty, like, it literally makes it look like you got your eyelashes blown out. Like, you know like how your hair looks like whenever you get a blowout? Like, that, it's that for your lashes. It's so good. But you guys chose the Superhero, the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. So that's the one we're going to use. Now that it's dried out a little bit more, I like it better than whenever I did my um, video where I was getting ready with you guys, catching up, answering your questions. Now that it's dried out a little bit more, still not exactly where I want it to be. A little bit better. But this one mixed with the um, with the Makeup Revolution one, flawless lashes. Flawless. Okay, and then the lashes that I unpacked specifically for these, for this video for you guys to choose from were this small, um, it's called Connie's Little Boutique. You can find her on Facebook, I believe. I'm not sure if she has an Instagram or anything like that. I'll try to find out from my sister. She's the one who gave me these. But it's called Connie's Little Boutique. You can look her up on Facebook Marketplace. And um, that's where these are from. These are the shrimp cocktail ones. And then I posted them next to the Salon Perfect ones. And you guys chose the small business. Go you guys. 
And so yeah, these are like very simple, very soft and very pretty. So I'm just gonna trim these to fit my eye. That's just what they look like, so pretty. So yeah, we are going to trim these. And I know I took my scissors out. So we're gonna put glue on these and allow that to dry for a bit. You guys, if you get braces, just know you're gonna be drooling uncontrollably, like uncontrollably, literally out of your control. Got the lash glue. Okay, we're gonna allow that to dry just for a little bit. And then we can go in with the foundation that you guys chose. So, so the foundation that you guys chose was the Undone Beauty Foundation. So this is just their glow tint light coverage so i feel like i'm a little full coverage for a little glam for light coverage so we're just gonna apply this to our face this is exactly how i apply my um essence pretty natural foundation <laughs> and then the sponge that we are going to use is the real techniques complexion sponge this one applies pretty good coverage no matter what i use just because it's a little more dense so it doesn't absorb as much product and look at that Perfect shade match for me. So if you're my foundation twinsy, I have the shave of the shave the shade 430 buttercream medium lights. I am gonna have to go in with at least another layer. Okay, let me pop on this lash because the lash glue looks like it's about to dry dry. Y'all, I didn't leave out no eyeliner unpacked or nothing. And I ain't more lashes in a minute, and it's gonna feel so weird. I need to put just a little bit more lash glue right there. It's not sticking, so we're gonna let that dry for a bit while we add a second layer. This is one layer of what that looks like, so it's not terrible. It's just definitely not a full coverage. So I'm trying to see what this looks, what this looks like with two layers. How's your so it builds up. You can at least get like light medium coverage. It doesn't have to only be light. It's building up pretty. Definitely feel like I could have probably gone one shade up just because I look a little ghostly. Like my skin is super yellow down here. But we can make that work. Okay, lashes are on perfectly. Okay, so we are going to go in now with the NYX concealer. And we're just going to. And then I'm just gonna blend that, blend that out with the same sponge. This is probably going to help with that extra coverage that I need under here to allow it to be a full glam look. Oh yeah, that is great coverage. It's perfect shade for this foundation. It's just or glow tint, I don't know what to call it. So now I am gonna go ahead and set my face. Um, I forgot to grab my cream bronzer, so just a second. We are gonna set first, and you guys chose L'Oreal Infallible. Ah, dang it. You guys chose the L'Oreal Infallible Powder over the CoverGirl one. Okay, so I like to use a dense brush like this whenever using a foundation powder to set my face. So we just go under the eyes. And this powder will also help us add a little more coverage as well, so. I usually put blush on my nose, but I'm having a hard time covering the redness. I may not have to. And the color that I got in this powder was 130 True Beige. So obviously my color is beige. Okay, so maybe I'm not as light as I think I am. <laughs> but everything else looked way too pink or way too orange. I hate that. Okay, and I bought everything online, so that's why nothing seems to be matching. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my lower lash line. So I'm really just gonna take the excess that we have from using this dark brown shade Ash Brown and run that along the lower lash line. And now we're gonna use the IT Cosmetics Mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, so now we're going in with our um, e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. And we're just gonna bronze up the face with that because we we could use it. We could certainly use the bronzer right now. Okay, and then for cream blush, you, chose, you guys chose the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette. And this one is in the shade 325 Flare. Super pink. And I try to tap whenever I'm putting it over powder because you don't want to, sometimes you can disturb. And I notice the only time it gets disturbed is whenever I use that CoverGirl powder. That one does not like creams put on top of it. 
I need some bronzer. Just to marry theirs, those together, I'm going over it with the sponge. And then for bronzer, you guys chose the Jaclyn Hill palette. And so I'm going to go in with this bronzer right here. Kind of see what we can do to bronze up this face because it's not the business right now. Oh, that lifted up everything I had on my nose. Okay. And then for blush, you guys chose the Essence blush in the shade Beloved. So we're just going to apply a little bit of that. And then for highlight, you guys chose the Undone Beauty Highlighter. And this is just their warm up bronzer and highlighter. And so we're just gonna highlight with this one. I love this highlighter. It's just so pretty. Like, look at that. So soft and subtle. Subtle. Subtle, subtle. How do you say it? Yes, King. I'm gonna take this brush right here and go into like just mix them and put that on the inner corners. For brows, we're gonna use the Undone Beauty um, Flawless Brow Pin, and it comes with the setting gel. So we're just gonna set those. Hi. Let me see how this always ends up with the bald spot by the time I'm done with my makeup. God dang it! That's one thing I don't like about this. And then for lip liner, we're going to go in with the Undone Beauty one and then some of the NYX brown one. But I got to get up close and personal with the Undone Beauty one. This one's the Undone Beauty one. My bad. I got to get up close and personal with that because I got to be really precise because it's like a marker. the brown my lip looks a little bit lopsided right there so let me fix that real quick okay I know it looks crazy right now you guys but I promise it's gonna come together going in with the brown lip liner from NYX and then you guys chose the essence over the color pop wood and this is the essence this is nude number three lipstick and then we are going to apply gloss and you guys chose this one I was surprised because the NYX was winning for a little while and then this one made a comeback so little complex culture gloss and this one isn't clear it just ain't clear because I'm always putting it over lipstick or lip liner my one and only gripe about this though is that it does not last long and it does make your lips feel dry after it wears off. We're gonna curl our lashes. What a difference that makes. Like look, this one's kind of out and then this one's like lifting my eye up. Ta-da! And now it's time to set and I'm using the one size um, Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Mist. All right, you guys, I'm going to do my hair and pick out my makeup, and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so this is a completed look, hair, jewelry. I have on this black dress that I did a try-on haul with that has the bows. But, yeah, that is it, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Always remember that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.